Red, White, and Swole. It's your boy, Papa Swolio, and today we are covering the new Spotify announcement. So Spotify to take on YouTube by offering video podcasts. Spotify wants to claw back a share of eyeballs from YouTube and other platforms by imagining itself as the destination for all podcast content, including video footage. Previously, uh, Spotify only streamed podcast audio. So um, I've called this for a while along with uh, King Darius. We've covered this on the Swolnormous Procast. If you want to learn more about the Swolnormous Procast, it's an exclusive podcast for members of Swolnormous X. Um, it talks about tech. It talks about social issues, all sorts of stuff, all trending topics. So we've talked about this many, many times because Spotify has been kind of leaking out these little videos in their app. You can see little kind of uh, looping music videos, snippets from top songs. So it, it, it's been poised to start putting out video for a long time. One of the interesting things about this video release is the fact that there are no actual competitors to YouTube. Instagram is not a competitor to YouTube. Facebook tried with Facebook Watch. It's not a competitor to YouTube. TikTok is not a competitor to YouTube. Twitter is not a competitor to YouTube. Uh, the reason is because Google and YouTube, hand in hand, you, they're both great search engines, okay? And they piggyback on one another. If you do a search on Google, it's often gonna pull up YouTube videos. And a lot of times, I personally, I know a lot of you, you could drop in the comments below, uh, you search on YouTube directly because if you're a visual person and you want like actual feedback right away, you're gonna go to YouTube and you'll get a video and you'll watch it and you'll learn. And that's how I learned a lot of like my video editing. And you know, if you want to learn anything, you wanna change oil in a fucking car, you look up your car, your model, and you'll find someone somewhere in the world that made a video talking about what you want to learn and showing you, okay? So this is like a very, very, very big platform for search. Google and YouTube are right next to each other. And um, in many cases, I think YouTube probably edges out Google just because you're going to default to it even if it pulls up a video. You're more likely to watch a video. Now, the interesting thing with this is, until now, there's no competitor to YouTube in terms of search, in terms of video. You're not going on Facebook and watching long-form video. You're not watching long-form video on uh, TikTok and on Instagram. You know, they tried with IGTV, but it didn't work. They didn't execute it properly. Remember, they started um, they started off with that IGTV app and then you couldn't put it on your feed and it was like a separate thing. They botched that whole fucking thing. It should have been integrated into the feed from the beginning because Instagram was poised to be the best. It, it could have bridged the gap between YouTube and uh, TikTok even before TikTok, you know, it was musically. But then, you know, before TikTok actually, you know, jumped on that. So Instagram, and I'm going to bring this, I'm going to tie this all back up in a second, but Instagram had Instagram stories and swept the rug and pulled the rug out from under Snapchat. So Instagram stories was the big shit and it was pretty much an app within an app and Instagram stories was banging. But then TikTok came along and Instagram just shit the bed. They didn't even fucking, they, they made some music things, they made some other little features, but they didn't jump on it the way they they didn't kill TikTok when they could have. They didn't stomp it. They didn't make it user-friendly enough. It's really hard. I never used Instagram stories for that. It's really hard to cycle through and choose a song and kind of, it's not intuitive navigation. You have to like hunt for it. And to the point where I never even use the feature and I know a lot of people don't. Most people just use TikTok like I do and you import it and you um, upload it to Instagram stories. The point being, the reason why Instagram stories and IGTV didn't really kick off it's because there's really no search function. If you go on Instagram, you're not really searching things like you will on YouTube. It's not a very searchable app. People aren't going on and searching fucking hashtags, like maybe far and few between, but you're not really using that as a very, a very effective search function. YouTube integrated with Google with hashtags and SEO is really, really well done. So Spotify comes along. There's really no competitor. What other platform, what Vimeo? What other platform is doing long form video that you're really going to gravitate towards to more than YouTube? Okay. So YouTube has the video, it has the SEO, it has a little bit of a, some community, some social aspects. You can drop a comment and stuff like that. So there is like that community over there on YouTube. It's integrated with 
all these sites with cards. You can integrate it with Teespring and selling apparel. It's very, very integrated. You can share, embed, all that good stuff. Instagram, IGTV, really, really not. It's just people aren't using it. It's kind of dead in the water, in my opinion. Now, Spotify has what many people don't realize. It has a very strong social base, and it's very a very positive app because you can create a playlist and share it. So it's not so much something that you'll comment on like an Instagram video or a Twitter post or TikTok, but you'll share a playlist and you can have a, like I can have a playlist and share it with all of you. And you can listen to the music that I listen to. You can add songs to your playlist and add some songs from my place here. So there's a lot of interaction there. So by having this big deal recently, Spotify signed Joe Rogan to a hundred million XYZ dollar contract, who knows how much he got up front or what the details are, but it's a huge move for Spotify. They're making a big move with podcasts. So this was a move and I'm like, all right, they're going video. They're going video because obviously Joe Rogan's podcast is a video podcast. So they must be going video. So this is not a surprise in itself, but my question that I'm posing that I'm interested in is will this translate into other forms of video? Because Relative to TikTok, if you're looking at Spotify like, hey, are they going to stay niche or are they going to go take out some of the big boys? Because TikTok has licenses for songs and whatever they do behind the scenes. But Spotify has got the music, yo. I mean, if you post something on YouTube, you know every which way you get fucked with copyright. So it's really hard to find music and people are always trying to find non-copyright music and things are always getting flagged. You know, if you play a song, I was on the, I was doing the Daily Swole podcast like a week or two ago and I played like a sound for like, 10 seconds and the whole thing got flagged and my entire two hour podcast wasn't monetized. I'm not making buku bucks off off that anyway, but it got completely shut down for playing like a sound that got flagged. And sometimes there's no problem with it and it still gets flagged. There's like some mistake or gets crossed over with something. So a huge problem with creating content on YouTube is this fucking copyright anal aspect of the app that flags every last thing. The AI is constantly scanning for shit. So Spotify obviously has deals and has licenses from all these fucking artists, from all of them. It's a big player. So what if it turns into something like they can stay niche and they can stay with just video podcasts, but what if they start expanding into using other types of content? What if it gets more social? What if they create some aspect of the app where it becomes kind of like an Instagram story or a TikTok and you're using music and you're watching podcasts? Like it's very, this is foot in the door. Now, that aspect, when you see it like that, since they already have a social structure, you could always share, you could also, you know, share plays. All they need to do is implement some aspect of commenting, um, you know, reviews, stars, whatever it is. And if you're going to do a video podcast, you would think that there's going to be some sort of social aspect to it of commenting down below. My question is whether or not they only stick to video podcasts, which might be a good niche like Twitter, even though Twitter has evolved, Twitter has stayed, they focused on conversation. YouTube is focused on YouTube. I mean, if you try to spread yourself too thin, you can dilute yourself and you can, you know, make your product a little more sloppy. But Snapchat didn't expand and didn't make it functional enough. And then Facebook came along, you know, Facebook just swept the the carpet right out from under Snapchat and just fucking buried it. I don't know who you, I don't know who uses Snapchat anymore. Um, Maybe they have something up their sleeve in the future, but really they lost huge to Facebook and uh, Instagram. Same thing. So when it comes to Spotify, one, either they stick, they stick to podcasts and music and music videos. But because one of the problems with bringing in comments and bringing in the social aspect and making it really like post whatever, you know, it's going to get very divisive it might create a very negative vibe around the app. And that's usually what happens. You know, TikTok is a fucking hot mess really fast. You're starting to see uh, any kind of app that comes up because the internet is so much more mature than it was when Instagram started, when Facebook started, when YouTube started. Now, TikTok was around since what? Like it was Musical.ly in 2016. I was on Musical.ly and then I got locked out of my original account. So I created another one in September of last year and I got like eh, almost 400,000 subscribers. Um, or followers on TikTok, but it went from like this very green, positive, whatever app, and then it just turned into like this. It's a fucking hot mess. Every girl on there is just, you know, butt ass naked. It's tons of just fucking just negativity and, you know, all the sorts of stuff. There's, I mean, it just, 
it exploded, but much faster than most other apps in the past because now the internet, people know the internet. People have their phones, they're, they're savvy to. When something pops, fucking everyone floods in. So things are ramping up a lot faster. It's not so much of a learning curve because every app is just jumping and kind of like, you know, lily padding onto the next one. So whatever we learn from TikTok is gonna translate over into the next popular app and the the intuition of, a, of an upcoming app. So I'm curious as to, what you all think, and I'm curious as to what Spotify will do with this. If they're going to stick to music and podcasts, or they're going to move more towards user-generated content like a YouTube, because it says they are to take on YouTube by offering video podcasts. That's not really taking on YouTube. I don't think YouTube is going to be crying over that. But what this could mean is when they're bringing in the big guns, like they're bringing over Joe Rogan, they're going to bring over millions of people to Spotify. And if they're watching it too, that was what I was thinking. I'm like, well, where's he going to post the video? Is he still going to post the video on YouTube? Not really, right? So now Spotify is going to be where people are watching and listening to the Joe Rogan experience and other video podcasts. So that being the case, once you start offering video podcasts, when does that branch out into other podcasts? Is it only going to be people that Spotify sign? Is it going to become something where there's user generated content? Because it could be very, very quickly Spotify can, it's a great name. It doesn't mean music. It means like the spot Spotify. Like this is, this is where you go. It can very, very, very easily translate into the biggest social media platform. No question about it, but I think it has to be done very, very carefully. Um, but they have to move fast so other apps can't react as easily. But Spotify is in a very, very good position so they can either go all in on the niche or they can spread. Um, but at the same time, Google controls search and YouTube is so mature and so full of content and the depth of it, it's, it's a hard play to go after YouTube for what YouTube is best at. So it seems like offering video is amazing, but if it focuses, if Spotify focuses on what Spotify is best at and kind of creates that video, music video type niche, kind of like the new MTV, like an MTV 2 or 3.0, this could be a whole new revolution for music, for video music content, for upcoming creators and video podcasts. Because obviously, I mean, you might not know this, but Anchor is an amazing podcast app. If you want to start a podcast, you can start a podcast with Anchor just from your phone and edit it all on your phone and everything. Spotify purchased Anchor like a year or two ago. And I was using Anchor since 2016. It was a great app. It was like an audio Twitter, but it's evolved tremendously. So Spotify is has gone all in on being the place where people can create podcasts, produce podcasts, produce music. Now the video, Spotify is, that's the future right there. That's a huge move. And this is something that's been brewing for a while, but what are your thoughts? Drop it down below. Um, I'm just curious as to what they're gonna do because obviously the social interaction is huge and I think people are gonna want that. I don't think you're gonna show a video and not allow people to comment, but you know, it could just be a matter of time before that divisiveness kicks in and human nature kind of makes Spotify and you know, everyone comes in and tries to burn it to the fucking ground. Um, but this is a big move. Uh, this is a huge move and it was kind of a very sleeper move because YouTube is something it's when, when someone's so big like YouTube and Google, it's hard to start something and even get to the point where you can even remotely compete. So I, I'm, I really respect the Spotify kind of like backdoor approach where they stayed very niche and they grew it and they had these like foundations of social but music and they kind of like grew that way and now they're going across they're going vertical now they're going horizontal and because of all the restrictions because of all the demonetization because of all the the frustrations that people have had with youtube especially over the last couple of years i mean i get i get flagged and censored and my distribution gets knocked like crazy just because of the way i talk and the type of content i cover it's very interesting to see how spotify has all of a sudden become a major player and kind of blindsided uh, a lot of the social media sphere. So it's really hard to get that big. It's really hard to bust in like TikTok did. Uh, Facebook obviously owns Instagram and, talk, and WhatsApp. Talk about like just monopolies there. And then you have YouTube and Twitter. So it's like all of a sudden, boom, Spotify's in the game. And I'm really curious as to how this is going to um, usurp like the power balance and really distribute the content because it'll be gr it's great to see a fresh face 
in terms of video. And I'm really curious as to how this is gonna work because the Spotify app is beautiful. It runs really well, but I'm really interested how this is going to relay into um, all the other types of content that people create. And if they're gonna to move towards just general user generated content and how they're gonna maybe leverage all these music licenses. And maybe if they're gonna start poking around with um, kind of competition with TikTok. But again, what are your thoughts? Drop a comment down below. Thank you so much for joining me for this red, white, and swole. Thank you, America. Thank you. Thank you. You're beautiful. You look beautiful today, Beaches. I love you. All right. And I'll see you real soon. Remember to subscribe to the channel and catch a Daily Swole podcast, Extra Thirsty, Ask Papa Swolio, all the good shit right here on the channel. And I'll see you next time for some R- Dub and S. Mmm, red, white, and swole. Oh, 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 oh. Peace.